Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Rao Twenty from Learn-Automation.com. So guys, today I have uh, come up with a very small library, but it is very useful if you are working with automation. So this library is, is called as Faker Library. As the name says, Faker, it will create some fake data for you. So in case if you are working with some applications where you need some dynamic data every time and you don't want to give static data and uh, you want every time a unique data. Okay. In that case, you can use this library. It's very straightforward and it will give you a very varieties of data which you can use for your automated test. Even if you want to work with, you know, different projects, not only for automation, any other project which needs some kind of test data, you can use this library. So I'm going to show you how you can use this fake library. As a rule, it's very small library, but very useful. So just navigate to this particular URL. I will give you the link in the description. You just need to add one dependency if you're working with uh, Maven. In case if you're working with Creator, just go ahead and add this dependency. Only one line of code and you can get your test data ready. You just need to create one object of Faker class and you can get the complete data. Okay, so you can see they have shown how to create fake uh, first name, last name, full name. And if you need, you know, a different type of data, I will show you all this. So this is the demo application which they have provided. So, so this is hosted on Heroku app. So you will see every time when I refresh the page, you will see the different test data. As of now, you can see this is the first name, last name, all these details. The moment I refresh, you can see test data changes. So this is one sample Spring Boot application which they have created to showcase us how this Faker library works. And if you see, this is the documentation. Documentation also very straightforward. These are the four packages they have and these are the classes. So it depends on your requirement, what kind of data you need. You just need to call these classes and you can use the, or you can get the test data. So you can see if you need the addresses, then for addresses, they have different class. And if you need the country, then for country, they have a different class. Say for country, you can get the capital, country code, currency, flag, everything. Apart from that, if you just open any other class, you will get the respective classes and the constructor which you can use. And uh, if you want the test data in different languages, so you can see you can also change the locale. So in spite of simply creating the faker uh, class object, in the constructor, you can also pass the locale of your choice so by default it is taking english but in case if you want in different locale so these are the supported locates uh, locales available which you can use for your faker library so uh, let me quickly show you how you can use this use this so i'm going to copy this dependency and i'm going to my clips and uh, let me open poem.xml let me close this. So this is a poem.xml file which I have. Let me quickly add the dependency. Let's go to poem.xml and within the dependencies tag, I'm going to add it. And within a few seconds, this is going to be ready. So let's create, I'm going to create a separate package called faker demo. And this demo, okay, sorry. Yeah, let's go ahead and create a class. And I will say faker demo. I'm going to take public static void main in case if you're working with any other testing framework, feel free to use that. So just let me increase the font size, yes. So let's go ahead and create object of faker class. The moment I use faker and control space, you can see it's coming from com.github.java faker. Let's create object. I will say fake equal to new faker. So you can see it is giving you multiple constructor. So it has constructor with locale with random values and combination of both. So guys, this concept is known as constructor overloading in Java. So as of now, I'm going to use the default constructor and whatever data you need, you can directly use it. So let's say I need address. So you can just uh, go ahead and type address and uh, which address you want. Let's say I want the city. 
so you can again get the city name building number all these things you can get directly from the address class okay so i'm going to get let's say city so the moment you put mouse over you can see it is going to return a string so you can store this in a variable called city and you can just see what it is printing so i'm going to print the city and let's say in the next fake data i'm going to get fake dot country dot let's say currency any fake country and fake currencies so the moment you right click run as the application okay you can get some random city name and you're getting some random correction the moment you right click run it again run it once again and you can see each time it will keep changing and we'll get a different set of data i know it's very small video and very small library but very useful recently i've used for a couple of my project and it works amazingly so i hope you will use this library in your project if you like this video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye